What can you learn at the Academy of Culinary Arts at Atlantic Cape? Hi, I'm Chef Joe Sheridan, and today we're going to take some Atlantic fish and give it an Italian twist with a tomato pepper stew from the Tuscany region of Italy. Greg's one of our students at the Academy, and he's going to help me with this dish. He's got, he has his uh, sautois on low, and we're going to start by rendering out some pork with a little bit of olive oil. And you always want to make sure your pan is just hot enough. When that oil starts to glimmer a little bit, you're good to go. I'm going to add the meat. Greg's going to stir that in. The next item he's going to add is a little bit of onion. And the onion is a diced onion. And there's a real simple step in order to dice an onion. You take your chef's knife, cut your onion in half and peel it so you have a nice flat surface to stand on. And you then simply Run your knife vertically through the onion. Be careful when you get the end. We don't want you to cut your thumb into it. And you've got these nice vertical slices. We're going to do this a couple more times, but now I'm going to put my palm on top of the onion and go in horizontally. So once you've done that, now you simply just have to go right across the onion and you've got a nice simple dice. Now the next item Greg is going to put add to the stew are some diced red and yellow peppers. And again, I've taken a piece of one of the yellow peppers to show you how to take the ribs out. You want to flip the pepper over so the skin side is on your cutting board. Lay the pepper as flat as you can and holding your knife horizontally, just very gently slide it back and forth through the pepper and it'll take that rib and the membrane out so you get a nice, bright, vibrant color. From that point, you simply cut it into strips. And then into a dice. Next up for Greg, we're going to, after we've let that sweat out as we call it, which means we're going to let it cook gently, releasing its liquid, not adding too much color. We're going to add some halved grape tomatoes, both red and yellow tomatoes. Okay. Give that a little stir. And here's where, the, where it gets a little bit different. Uh, we are serving fish, but we're going to use red wine. And this is common along some port cities in Italy. They make red wine in the area. The fish comes to town and they, they cook it into a, into a fish stew that they call cachuco. Greg's going to add that. We're going to turn the heat up, bring it just up to a simmer, and let it cook down for about 15 minutes. All right, Greg has the tomato pepper stew working, and I'm going to start our cod. This is an Atlantic cod, East Coast, line caught, um, one of the sustainable, sustainable fishes that we have, have in the area. You're going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. Some people might prefer to use white pepper. I just don't like the flavor, so I'm going to put up with the little black specks from the black pepper. If you don't like cod, there are a number of other fish you can use. We're right here, on, right here outside Atlantic City. Bluefish are running. This would be great with that. If you catch fluke, flounder, croaker, any of these will work great. You start off by getting your pan nice and hot, and you add, pardon me, I grabbed the wrong one, you add a little bit of I'm using safflower oil. You can use a vegetable oil, canola oil. You, you want to avoid olive oil because it, it has a lower smoke point, and you're going to be cooking here at a high heat. I'm going to take one of my fillets, put it in. You can hear a little sizzle there. I think I need just a little more oil. And I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic and some fresh thyme. And I'm just going to let that cook. The first the biggest mistake people make when they try to saute a piece of fish is they move it too fast. You've got to let the, you've got to listen and let the food talk to you. This fish will tell me when it's ready to turn. If I try to turn it now, I might break it up. We want to get a nice little uh, crust on the outside of the fish. You know, three, maybe four minutes per side. While we're doing that, I can just take the oil and baste my fish, my garlic and my thyme. 
You want to be careful not to burn your garlic. I leave it sliced in this dish because I, want, I don't want it in the final product. I just want it to flavor a little bit. But if you let your garlic burn, it's going to have kind of a bitter taste. So now, when you see the, you see a crust starting to form, it's time to turn your fish. And the best way to do that is with a simple fish spatula. Slide it right underneath and just roll it over. And you can see we got a nice golden brown crust on the fish. So I'm going to take another two or three minutes before this will be ready. So I'm going to reach back and grab our bowl because Greg has, has his sauce ready. We're going to stir in a little bit of fresh herbs, a pinch of salt and pepper just to finish it off, and then he's going to pop that on into a bowl. We've got our tomato pepper stew. Now we're simply going to take our fish out of the pan. Should be done by now. Lay that right on top. And then I like to finish it with a little bit of crispy prosciutto. Same type of ham that we cooked in the stew. I like garlic, so I'm going to take some of the garlic I cooked in the pan and, and kind of fried into chips and put that on top. Then a little drizzle of, fresh, of olive oil for flavor. And that finishes up our dish. This is just one of the things that you can learn at the Academy of Culinary Arts at Atlantic Cape. I'm Chef Joe Sheridan and we'll see you in the kitchen. Mm -hmm.